Okay, students, uh, welcome uh, once again to ELE3323 uh, Electrical Machines Laboratory. Okay, so today's lab is laboratory, num laboratory number uh, 9. Okay, uh, this is the only continuation of laboratory 8 because in laboratory 8, we have two circuits. Okay, one without the dynamometer and with one with the dynamometer. All right, so open your laboratory manual. Okay. And go directly to figure, go directly to figure 5-2, okay? In laboratory number 9, okay, ELE3323. So, figure 5-2. So, you need a timing belt, okay? Alright? Alright, so... Okay, so connect the circuit in 5-2, alright? Alright? Alright, okay, and connect the timing belt. Then connect the circuit. For connecting the timing belt, connect the circuit. Alright, so one, two, three. Okay. So connect. Number one. Connect it to a AC ammeter. AC ammeter. Yeah. Then 1.5, no? Okay. Connect it to number one here. Okay. And number two. Connect it here to number two and number three. Here, number three. Okay. And four and five and six will be connected together. Okay, by the way, no, in this in this uh, experiment, you need a power supply, three phase one rotor motor, induction motor, and the four quadrant dynamometer. Okay. Of course, the voltmeter and AC ammeter. Okay. Five and six. Okay, then you need to connect one to a voltmeter. Okay. Uh, 500, of course. Um, okay. Alright, so next, of course, no, uh, also you need a three phase rheostat. Okay, so from here, number seven. Okay, to here, current 1.5 going to the number one here, no? So you stop. Okay, and the rest for number eight. Okay, number two. Okay, and number nine. Here, no? three. Okay, and you try. Alright. Okay. And the dynamometer connected to power supply no? using this. Okay. Switch it on. Okay. Alright. QC, CT brake. Okay. So turn on the power supply quickly. Measure E1, I1, I2. E1, I1, I2, and we develop starting torque. Okay? So, before that, okay, set the dynamometer control knob full clockwise. No? So, full clockwise. So, set this one, the knob, full clockwise to, pro to provide maximum torque load for the motor. Then, click start. Okay? And set the Control rheostat. Okay, this one, the rheostat. To its full clockwise position. So full also. 75 ohms. Alright. Then turn on the power supply. Turn on, turn on the power supply. Okay. 
and record the currents voltage so this is the voltage e1 here are the currents okay once done calculate the calculate the apparent power to the motor as starting for okay all right and that's it that's the experiment number uh, nine okay thank you